Good afternoon, this is Jim Lakey with news and announcements for St. John and Maxville, Kansas and for Stafford County. We're on cable channel 3 and on sandylandcenter.org, our website. Today is Wednesday, the 5th of November. It's 67 at the bank at noontime. And we're having isolated thunderstorms today with a 30% chance of rain, 69 the high temperature. Thursday and Friday are both partly cloudy and windy. 57 the high temperature on Thursday and 58 on Friday. Then uh, Saturday sunny and 61. Sunday partly cloudy and 63. Happy birthday today to Mark McCandless and happy birthday tomorrow to Rex Hoskinson. We hope that you enjoy your birthdays. Well, we want to make sure that people will watch our lineup of events on Sunday on Channel 3. At 11 o'clock in the morning is the live service from First Baptist Church in St. John. At 1 o'clock in the afternoon is Theo's Travels. And at 4 o'clock in the afternoon is the delayed broadcast of the First United Methodist service uh, from that morning. Last week it took a little longer to get it on, so it wasn't on at 4 o'clock because the service was about an hour and a half long. And it took us a real long time to process it so we could put it on the television. But with most normal days when the services are about an hour, it should be on about 4 o'clock. <coughs> well, the last of all the specials and Hunter's Breakfasts and things is the Christian Women's Fellowship Soup, Supper, and Bazaar at the Maxville Christian Church Fellowship Hall, and that is today. And the bazaar starts at 3 o'clock, and soup is served from 5 to 7.30. They have chicken noodle, vegetable beef, and chili. You have pie and a drink, and they ask for a donation. That's at the Maxville Church Christian Church Fellowship Hall. Then we look at some of the events for the school, <coughs> St. John uh, today, uh, well let's see, tomorrow is 8.30 uh, plan test for sophomores and the quiz bowl is in the afternoon at Maxville and then on Friday at 10 o'clock is the parent teachers play group in the preschool room and the ACT deadline for registration for the exam on 12-13. And there isn't a whole lot going to happen on this Saturday. Now we get to what's eating at various places and what's for lunch. Uh, at the school today in St. John is Little Smokies, Macaroni and Cheese. Tomorrow is Spaghetti and Tossed Salad. And on Friday, Cheeseburger on a Bun with French Fries and a Relish Plate. Then we go over to the Maxville School, and uh, we have there chicken strips, au gratin potatoes, and corn, and on, uh, oh, today was beef and sausage, gravy on a biscuit, Thursday is chicken strips, Friday is cheeseburgers, and baked beans. Now, for the sunflowers in St. John today, they're having baked chicken. Tomorrow, smothered steak, and on Friday, barbecued pork chops. While in Maxville at the VIP Center, they're having chicken fried steak today, roast pork on Thursday, and chicken and stuffing on Friday. Well, that's all of the news I have ready for you right now, but we will probably insert a few special reports about things that occur at City Council or things that occur uh, due to the election that's going on Tuesday, and we'll insert those at the end of the news. So stay tuned to see what we found out in our special reports. The word of the day is this, <clears throat> if you want to sign something that will last forever, sign a mortgage. This is Jim Lakey, hoping you have a great Wednesday.
follow one zero. Bar one. McCain one seventy two. Nader one. Okay. It's laterally sixty six. Uh, Hodgkinson nine. What? Nine. Hodgkinson nine. Yeah. Okay. Martin one. Roberts one eighty. Warner five. Oh, Barbonero three. Burton four. Moran two o eight. Tightman two 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 twenty three. Holmes one ninety six. Kitts one ninety three. Keeley one eighty. Walters two o five. Melton two thirteen, Brister two thirty one, Sheepack one seventy six, R one eighty seven. Okay, Stafford's got a question. Um, you mm -hmm. want yes? Yes votes twenty. No. No votes twelve. So you're here tonight relaying messages to the Republicans over at the Shell Building? That is my duty. That's fine. How long, have you been, how long have you been sitting here? Uh, long enough to have my foot fall asleep. That's I'd say it's about an hour and a half. And you'll be here till the end, right? I will. Okay, we'll be back. Today <laughs> that uh, Stafford County or St. John has voted, and these are the final totals by the uh, County Clerk, and you'll notice that uh, in uh, Stafford County, uh, McCain had 1,483 votes for Obama's 535. And there are a few other candidates who had 8 or 10 votes. <coughs> then in the U.S. Senate race, uh, Senator Roberts in Stafford County, 1567 to 420 for Slattery. And then we have some unopposed people. Uh, Jerry Moran was unopposed, essentially, and he had 1,738 votes. Uh, Ruth Tightman had 1,729, was unopposed. Mitch Holmes, our representative, had 1613 and was unopposed. And then there were several candidates for judges, <coughs> and they were all unopposed, and we don't know a whole lot about what they were up to. And then we get to our county races, which are probably the most important for us. And here, uh, Lee Suda won re-election in District 2 as County Commissioner over, less, over a less stipend, and he won 371 to 247. And then uh, uh. J.D. Hager won re-election in uh, District 3 with 468 to uh, Davis is 241. <coughs> and then, of course, uh, the county clerk was unopposed with 1807. Are we making a change? And the treasurer was again unopposed with 1718. And the register of deeds had 1782. And the county attorney had 1422. And Jeff Carr was re-elected sheriff unopposed with 1566. And there was some question on the ballot in uh, Stafford Rural, actually just north and south Stafford. And the question one, whatever it was, they had 39 votes as opposed to 19 that were opposed. And so this is the results. 
for Stafford County and how Stafford County voted uh, in the national election. <laughs> well, this evening we caught up with caught up with you when you were coming out of the uh, in elevator, Lee. Looks like you got it wrapped up. What do you think about another term? I'm ready. I'm ready for it. This will be probably the last one, but I'm, I sure look forward to finishing this one. Fantastic. Isn't it wonderful the way our system works? Yes, it is. Got any big plans or any big concerns at this no, point? or just? I, I just want to get this building over here, the law enforcement center, in it and go on this biggest thing. Well, thank you for your time, sir. I won't keep you. You Thanks again, and uh, congratulations on an obvious win. Thank you.